Something unexpected just entered our solar system. And it's not from around here. It's moving fast, glowing strangely, and leaving scientists scratching their heads. Some say it's just a comet. Others aren't so sure. Could this be the most mysterious object we've seen in years? Let's take a closer look at what NASA and astronomers have just discovered, and why this interstellar visitor is unlike anything we've seen before. NASA's famous Hubble Space Telescope has just taken its first picture of a strange visitor from far away. It is a comet named 3I Atlas. You may have heard this name in the news recently. This comet was first discovered on July 1st by a NASA-supported robotic telescope system called the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Then, on July 21st, the Hubble Space Telescope captured its first clear image of this fast-moving object. In the image, you can see a bright fuzzy cloud around the middle of the comet. That cloud is called the coma. The coma is made of gas and dust that the comet releases as it gets closer to the sun and heats up. The center of the comet is made of ice, and when that ice warms up, it turns into gas and releases particles. That is what forms the glowing cloud we see in the picture. There are a few streaks in the image, but those are not part of the comet. They are caused by cosmic rays hitting the telescope's camera. Luckily, those streaks do not block the view. The picture is still clear and gives scientists a lot of useful details. Thanks to this image, researchers can study what the comet is made of and how it behaves while it travels through our solar system. The big coma shows that this comet is very active. That is something we usually see in comets, but this one is special because it did not come from our solar system. It is from somewhere far beyond. There is also something else interesting. In the image, the comet looks stretched out in the direction it is moving. This does not mean the comet has a tail. The stretched look is because the comet is moving very fast. It is traveling at about 60 kilometers per second, and the telescope took the picture over 100 seconds. That makes the object look about 6,000 kilometers long in the image. That is about the same as the distance from one side of Earth to the other. But something very strange showed up when scientists studied the light from this comet. They used a method called spectroscopy. This involves shining light through the gas and dust around the comet and looking at the colors that come out. Usually, comets show signs of gases like water, carbon dioxide, or other common materials. These show up as specific colors in the light. However, with 3 I Atlas, scientists did not see any of those usual signs. The light looked more like it was just bouncing off a dusty surface. This means the comet might not have much gas at all. That is very odd because comets that are close to the sun usually release a lot of gas. The missing gas signals are making scientists wonder what this object really is. It is also worth noting that Hubble was not the first to take pictures of this comet. The Rubin Observatory captured it earlier. This telescope took very detailed images between June 21st and July 7th. That means the comet was photographed 10 days before anyone even knew it existed. Out of 49 images taken by Rubin, scientists used 37 to study where the object was, how bright it looked, and what its physical traits were. They used three types of light, red, infrared, and a mix in between. From this, they measured its position in the sky with incredible accuracy. They also measured the brightness of the comet very precisely. These images confirm that the comet is active. It has a coma and is releasing gas and dust as it moves closer to the sun. In fact, the cloud around it grew more than 50% during the time it was being watched. The team also estimated how bright the object really is using a method called V-band absolute magnitude. They calculated a brightness value of 13.7 with a small uncertainty. They believe the solid core of the comet is about 5.6 kilometers wide, with a small possible error. That makes it the largest object from outside the solar system ever seen in our part of space. Now here is something truly rare. This comet has a tail that points toward the sun. Most comets have tails that point away from the sun because sunlight pushes dust in the opposite direction. So why is this one different? Scientists think this could be due to a process called one-directional dust release. It means the dust is mostly coming from the part of the comet facing the sun. The sun heats that side, causing dust to be pushed off more strongly. 
that creates a tail that appears to go toward the sun. This is not common, but has been seen before in a few other comets, like one named C-2014 UN-271. Another possible explanation is that gas jets on the comet might be creating this tail, but the data from July 3rd showed no signs of gas emissions. So for now, scientists believe that the sunward tail is caused by dust release, not gas. Now let us move to a more surprising idea. Some people are asking, could this comet be a piece of alien technology? That idea sounds like science fiction, but it is being discussed by some scientists, including a well-known Harvard professor named Abraham Loeb. This comet is moving very fast, about 152,000 miles per hour or 66 kilometers per second. That is faster than the 42 kilometers per second needed to escape the sun's gravity. So the sun cannot pull it back. It is just passing through and will never return. Because of its path, scientists say it came from outside our solar system. It is moving in a hyperbolic orbit, not a circle or an oval. This is only the third time in history that a space object from another star system has been seen passing through ours. When it was first spotted, the comet was about 410 million miles from the Sun. That is near the orbit of Jupiter. Even from that far away, it appeared very bright. Based on the light it reflects, scientists think it could be as big as 20 kilometers in size. That is much bigger than the first two known interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Comet Borisov. If 3I Atlas is rocky, its mass could be more than 10 million times greater than that of Oumuamua. Professor Loeb says the chance of seeing something this big just by luck is very, very small. In fact, he says it is as low as 0.001. 3I Atlas is about twice the size of the object that killed the dinosaurs. Some scientists briefly considered it might be artificial due to its lack of a tail, but later images from Rubin and Hubble confirmed it has a tail and dusty cloud. The alien theory has no supporting evidence and is widely dismissed by experts. Another question is whether this comet could be dangerous to Earth. Scientists say the comet poses no danger to Earth. At its closest approach to the Sun on October 30th, it will still be 240 million kilometers from our planet. Despite this, the comet is drawing major attention from amateur astronomers. Tony Dunn was the first to post its orbital path online. This is only the third known object from another star system to pass through ours, and the first to spark serious discussion about whether it might be a spacecraft. So what do you think? Is 3I Atlas just another natural space rock, or could it be something more? Professor Avi Loeb previously suggested Oumuamua might be alien-made, though most scientists disagreed. He wrote a book called Extraterrestrial Arguing for More Openness to the Idea of Alien Life. Loeb also founded the Galileo Project to search for signs of alien technology, believing such discoveries could impact life on Earth. So far, there is no strong proof that any interstellar object we have seen is a spaceship. But people like Loeb want scientists to keep an open mind. They think it is better to explore all the possibilities rather than ignore them. Whether 3I Atlas is just a big rock or something more, one thing is clear. It is giving scientists an exciting chance to learn more about space beyond our solar system.